Uh, we've got uh, a company like uh, uh, Orsi's who've developed the pioneering spirit, which uh, is probably the largest vessel in the world, nearly a million tons by displacement. This is going to come into the field and lift off the Brent Delta topsides in a single go and transfer it down to Hartlepool, where it will actually transfer the topsides onto this barge, which is called the Iron Lady. Um, and then that barge will come into the estuary and into Able UK's facility. So that we've, uh, we are the first customer to sign up to use this vessel. And, uh, Shell and ExxonMobil did a huge amount of technical assurance on this and we continue to do a lot of technical verification on this, both the design, the seaworthiness trials, uh, test tank modeling, and um, uh, we will do a test lift um, uh, later this year uh, on a, a simulated platform that weighs about 5,000 tons. Uh, in each step, of each sort of step by step verification of this technology. We looked at uh, 130 uh, sites around the UK and the North Sea for, to bring the top sites to, uh, and we eventually selected Able UK uh, on Teesside uh, based on their track record, their, their safety track record, their environmental track record and the fact this is a very heavily industrialized area so you're not creating noise or dust for, uh, um, or trucking uh, you, uh, material through uh, communities. Um, in all cases we had to invest, we had to invest in, in the facilities so in this case we have to uh, create a super strong key so there's about 1200 piles that need to be piled into the clay to give us a firm foundation to put the 24,000 tons of Brent Delta on top of it. So once we, once we bring in the uh, Brent Delta, skid it onto the key side, we'll go through a three-phased operation. Firstly, we'll, we'll make the thing safe. Uh, we'll then have an open house where we will invite uh, people who've worked on Brent Delta and their families, but also the local community can come along and see what we're going to do. Uh, people can say goodbye to it, because uh, many people have worked their entire you know, 40 years out there on the platform. It is uh, a second home to them. Um, once, it, once we've done that phase, it, there's a soft strip phase where ABLE will remove any materials that can be reused, uh, take away hazardous materials like asbestos and uh, dispose of those properly. And then finally, they bring the thing down on the ground as quickly as uh, easily as they can and break it up with machines into, into scrap, size, uh, scrap size coupons, which are then, we'll then uh, sell on. Um, so I hope that illustrates you know, the some of the engineering challenges, we need innovation, we need creativity, we need great engineers to help us do decommissioning in a safe, environmentally responsible and efficient way. I'll hand back to Duncan. Um, on the question of reuse, uh, uh, yeah, reuse is uh, desirable, higher in the waste hierarchy than uh, recycling. And our contractor, Able UK, um, you will in that soft strip phase go and see what they can uh, salvage so that they will look at things like uh, valves, uh, actuators, um, there's some plate heat exchangers made of titanium, those sorts of high value items that are worth removing. They'll also, uh, they're also very good at identifying structural steel sections that can be used uh, or reused, so uh, they, they, they've uh, done that in the past. The BP's Northwest Hutton platform, the module support frame from that uh, was the whole, whole jacket was um, decommissioned at Abel's facility. They kept the module support frame, an enormous piece of steel, uh, about 50 metres high, in fact, uh, um, and that they kept that for years. And it's actually now been bought by All Seas and made into the test lift platform. So they are very good mm -hmm. at identifying things that are, have high value. Uh, and they, they'll certainly be looking to uh, to do that before, so it's reused before recycling.